YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from eFool Supply. Today we are back with some quick fix videos for you guys on Pantera's Intel Flow. This is their three horsepower variable speed pool pump. There are a couple different models that look exactly the same. There's just some software differences, maybe some other features that the pump will offer. So all of these quick fixes will work with all of those, but we're gonna dive in and show you guys how to repair some of these parts and pieces. Stay tuned. Alright guys, and we're back. So again, we've got some quick fix videos for you guys on Pentair's 3 horsepower and Teleflow. This model is their variable speed model. It's the uh, EC011028. This will work across their other Intelliflow models, their trade series, their VSFs, their SVRSs. So if you guys have any of those models, which will have all the model numbers linked down below for you guys, so you guys can see all of those, all these quick fixes will work for you. The parts are interchangeable between all of those models just because they are essentially all the same pump. The only difference really comes into the software side. So the actual volutes, the drives, every other part of it's gonna be the same. So make sure you guys check out those in the description if you don't actually have this model, but it will work if you have any of those models listed down below. So for today's video, I just wanna show you guys how to access as well as how to remove your drain plugs. This doesn't normally happen for us out here on the uh, west side of the country. Normally that the Southwest, we don't ever shut our pools down because the weather never gets cold enough where you really need to worry about winterizing. But for those of you um, in the Northeast or, you know, even in the, the Middle West, you know, in the middle of the country, you guys normally will get weather that you'll need to remove these drain plugs and drain everything out of here. So you guys don't have the, the water contracting and expanding and breaking this plastic. So located on the side you guys can see this is where the actual name tag is the other side does not actually have it so i'll go ahead and turn this around for you guys so you guys can see on the opposing side you guys have two drain plugs located right here on the bottom so one you can actually see from the inside where your basket is so you would you would actually be able to take your lid off and physically see that that water drain the one that's actually located a little bit farther back right by the base is meant to drain the inside of the pump. So you physically cannot see that. So it's really important that when you guys do pull them both, that you guys pull both, that you guys don't just pull one and then leave the other one. Cause then there's gonna be water sitting in here the same way that's gonna cause those issues for you guys. So really simple. They, they come with O-rings already installed. So you guys don't need to buy a different O-ring. They already have O-rings attached to them. So it's just a basic thread. So you're just gonna go ahead and unthread them. <clears throat> depending on how long they've been out there, depending on how long you've done this or needed to drain it, they're gonna, they may be stuck. Um, so definitely grab some kind of pliers, maybe throw a rag over it. Because this is plastic, the last thing you guys wanna do is, is really eat this up and cause any problems with it. But it's really important that when you guys take them off and you reinstall them, that you don't cross thread them. So you just wanna be gentle and everything can kind of be hand tight. These O-rings are gonna seal everything up for you. Again, you can buy these all complete with a new O-ring. So if you've lost them or, or they broke, you guys can check out the links in the description. We'll actually have these available for you guys. But again, you're gonna wanna make sure that you remove them both. So I'll set them up. So at this point, you're gonna actually start to see the water drain out of this. And then again, on this piece, it will drain from the inside where you're not gonna be able to see it once again, cause you're gonna have your pipe coming out of here. If you have it unionized and you plan on just taking the whole pump out to make sure nothing else happens, then you don't need to worry about pulling the drain plugs. But if you leave everything attached at the equipment, it's really important that you pull both of these to make sure that you get all that water out of there so that you don't have to worry about it expanding when it starts to freeze. So real quick fix for you guys, just wanna show you guys how to do that. Again, when you're gonna reattach them, go gentle with your hand to make sure you don't cross thread them because if you break those threads, you're gonna end up having to replace this entire balut, which depending on how you plumb it, could be a lot of work. So just make sure you guys take, that, take your time on making sure this goes in there properly. Just want to show you guys how to do the drain plugs again make sure you guys check out the links in the description we're gonna have a playlist on tearing this thing apart from the outside in um, until then i really appreciate you guys watching i'm kyle from you pool spy and we'll see you next time